Hey, Orange One here. So uh, we are back with our character from way back when we were doing this regular Let's Play. I want to show you how he's doing. Um, we still we got our two colonies here. They're very profitable though. Uh, we have had some issues with, if you look at our intel, um, with like colony threats. Um, so like there's a number of things that are attacking my colony. I'm actually right now attacking one of those things that is attacking our colony just to just you know help them out a little bit and get a little bit of cash as well um, we are a little bit low on fuel so I do need to be careful about that and I did want to um, yeah we'll engage um, and we'll just kind of show you what we got yeah check this out we got like a ton of like really heavy hitting ships like seriously like these things are beasts um, and I think that's pretty excessive like we don't really need anything more everything else is kind of like beat beat up it looks like I was in a fight recently so yeah um I've been really enjoying playing this game especially since I upgraded the computer because it just runs a little bit better especially in the large battles which I'm hoping to get to one um by the end of this episode we'll we'll clear out these these bandits here and then maybe we'll go after the uh the remnants go after some robots in space you know I mean, who doesn't like a little bit of robot in space combat, right? Good sci-fi. So yeah, but for now we've got the uh, the logic path that we gotta clear out. Yeah, check this out. Like, look at all all that effects and everything. It's kind of loud though, isn't it? I've always had an issue with um the star sector and the volume. It's always like super loud and then like super quiet, you know. But like if I'm Unlike this ship, it's actually not too bad, I guess, because it's further away. Yeah, that, that's much better. But look, we're already starting to flux out parts of their, their station, and we're blowing up ships. Like, we're doing pretty good. If we look at the tactical map, nothing's really taken too much damage. Yeah, these things are just super beat up. I don't know, did I, like... I think these guys might have been, like, the, the bit of the um, enemy force that I was fighting before this episode. I'm not sure. Yeah, that thing's gonna be going down pretty soon. Look at all those torpedoes that are just like going there. Well, that's kind of a waste though, because like, that thing's got tons of shield. That doesn't know. That's, it's a little close, but whatever. God, I, I gotta say, I do love the effects, even if the volume is a little loud. I'll just stay quiet for a little bit, because there's not much I can really do much, like, besides just kind of watch this little, little show. It'd be cool though. If we zoom in, yeah, what can I see if I look up at the sky? Can I follow, like, a fighter? Like, if I click on one of those um, fighters, can I, like, follow them? Or something? No. You can't. That would have been cool to have been able to like zoom in and follow them, you know? Yeah, where are you guys shooting at? I don't know. Looks like they're just harassing. They're not bombers or anything. They're just little fighters. Yeah, it's a... It's a great thing. It's like a... It's totally like a fireworks show, you know? Like, I was talking to my brother about this game. And like how like pros and cons about this and like uh, Bannerlord and Bannerlord is really fun, but this is such a simple art design, but it looks so good. You know, like there's something to be said for like really simple art designs. Like I think a lot of people when they're playing video games, they just want like really fancy looking games. You know, those are not the best games. I and mean, if you're watching my channel, you already know that though, right? You know, I would like to maybe do a modded game of Star Sector. I was thinking how that would be pretty cool because I, I really like the gameplay in this game. I like the simulated world and everything, but I was thinking how cool it would be. Oh, did I... one of my conquests retreated? Oh, I must have picked, decided to do that by itself. Because I don't recall doing that. Did I do that? Well, this station's pretty much done. But yeah, I was also... I was reading up these planets. 
the things, their like planetary designs, at least they used to be like made from like uh, like pans, like rusty pans. That looks like it's orbiting though and rotating around. So I don't know. It's, maybe that the thing I was reading was out of date. I don't know. I mean, space is always just so cool to look at, you know, so I think, like, games, whenever they use the space of the aesthetic, um, it just comes out really pretty, you know? Like, I was um, actually teaching my students about space recently, and, like, um, so I've been, like, looking up online a ton of videos, and I'm just, like, really enjoying all of these, like, things about, like, the Big Bang and whatnot, because, God, YouTube has some really high quality uh, channels with some really good effects on them, you know? But this thing is taking a while to take down. I didn't think that this was going to be a five minute plus ordeal to try and take out the station. But it looks like we're getting close, right? If I try, yeah, I can't even remember like how to select things. Yeah, but if I look at that, that thing's armor is, uh, it's pretty high actually. That's armor is low. It's pretty low. Yeah, this thing should go down pretty soon. Especially seeing how... Why is it... It hasn't got, like, any flux on it, does it? I don't know. That's kind of weird. There we go. That's... Okay, that's what we really should be trying to look at. What were we looking at earlier? Was it... Oh, it's this little thing. I didn't even see those little bits on the end there. Huh. I guess it doesn't have a shield, though, by the looks of it. Our shields seem to all be holding, though, so we're totally fine. Yours is a little bit high, but yeah. You're golden. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. I um, I didn't fully know... Like, I've, I've heard the main idea of how we know how old the universe is, but there's this one video from PBS that I watched on um, exactly the process of how they went through figuring out how old the universe was. It was so interesting, you know? Because, like, I, I was a biology major in college, so, like, I learned all that stuff. But I've always liked space, and I think I took, like, one class in college that was, like, a, like, super basic, like, elective class that was an astronomy class. And I really, really liked it. But, um, I don't, I don't know a ton about space. I know uh, plenty about chemistry, and through that, and like some physics I know about space, but <clears throat> I there's a lot that I don't know, you know. And there's I've just been like deep diving on some of this stuff, and it's just like super fun. And I, f I feel like sometimes we forget about that as adults. Is like we forget about just like looking things up just for fun, you know? Like hey, I want to learn about this thing. Oh yeah. I don't know, what's something that you looked up recently? Just for fun. You're like, I want to learn how to do this. I think there's a number of people who've done that during the coronavirus. Like, they picked up, like, some weird little hobby or something like that. And for me, I, like, just have been doing, like, a lot of gardening. But I know there's a lot of other people who've done, like, they've, like, learned to, like, knit or whatever. Okay, come on. Are we there? Like th that thing just that was pretty spectacular. Yeah, that thing's not really flexing out. There we go. Now it's flexed out, there we go. This thing should go down within this rotation, right? Yeah. Totally is good. Cool. Yeah, I've also been like thinking about how, just like the plant the uh, ship design is so cool like whenever you do like this and you get like the ships you can just see how proud they are of these ship designs like they're just really cool really pretty um i don't know what what style of um video game art is this this isn't like bit or pixel it's um I mean, it's two-dimensional but like what it's it's not a tile is it, is it a tile? No, it's not a tile because it's got like moving parts on it. I don't know what you would even call it. Come on, you guys can do it. I wonder if we're taking so long to finish this because we're all out of like, uh, like torpedoes and stuff. And we're still firing some torpedoes, right? 
Yeah, this thing's gonna flux out in a second though. Okay, it's dropped its shield because, because of that. Oh, look at these. Are these bombers? Okay, what are those little things there? I think we had a, a lot of uh, our fighters are really getting in there all of a sudden. Oh yeah, those are the bombs. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now it's just getting destroyed. I gotta say, I do love how the numbers kind of jump out like that. And they like pop up. It's a really cool effect. It's like, it reminds me of like the Borderlands effect. It's super similar actually to that. Like whoever... Was Borderlands the first game to do that? Like with like the numbers popping up in that, that style? Or is that... I feel like that's like an MMO type thing. But I didn't really play too many MMOs. I played, uh, what was it, Guild Wars and Guild Wars 2. But I never got into like the MMOs where you have to do like a like a monthly subscription. I never like was really able to justify that in my head. I mean, as an adult, it's like I kind of I just totally see it because it's like okay, if you have that as your expense and you're not buying other things, then not so bad, right? Um, oh man, we got a lot of extra stuff here. Can I get rid of? I don't know. What do I want to get rid of? I don't want to get rid of supplies, do I? I definitely don't want to get rid of fuel. Let's get rid of the extra machines there. And the machines are worth more, but the supplies are kind of worth more to me right now. Yeah, there's all these cargo pods that I have from... Um, we've just been like wrecking things around here. Um, trying to get our fuel up so that I could get to... Uh, I think it's like, is it Wotan? Is that the one? That's a medium. No, that's a low. We wanted to get down here. Because these. this is where the, um, whatchamacallit are. Um, yeah, I think we want to just jump right away. Just because it, it'll be a little bit faster for you guys. And I think we've got plenty of supplies to get there, right? Um, actually, hold on, let's get that going. Yeah. Okay, so we are really burning through supplies, actually. I'm curious to see if we, we get there. How many days? 12 days? 12? Yeah, so we got, we got enough supplies. Um, and 12 times this, that's... Yeah, we've got enough uh, fuel and supplies to get there. <coughs> But we'll need a fight to get more uh, fuel and supplies there so that we can get back to civilization, right? Oh man, it's been seriously so long since I've played this game. I'm a little bit nervous about navigating. I did see, because my brother, he also plays this game on his channel, that if you get rid of everything, you can see these clouds really well. So I probably do want to hang around this side a little bit so that we don't just get shot around a ton. But look at that little effect. I feel like the game's been updated or something. Jamin, is that where I wanted to go? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna let you uh, you do your thing. I have no idea who that is. You're returning to Methulia? Oh, so you're actually going to my colony. That's funny. Okay, so our supply consumption's gone down, so our supplies should last a lot longer. And, um, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're golden. We're fine. I just get a little bit nervous in the deep space because I think I had to stop there to get back to get enough fuel to even get back to civilized space. Yeah, so it's just like something where you just kind of want to be a little bit cautious. You don't want to get stuck out here in the middle of nowhere. Hopefully we get dropped off. I mean, I know that I have a giant fleet and a very powerful fleet. I think it's maxed out and it's got like a lot of endgame ships. So, wow, this is like a little corridor. This is like totally like a little corridor right here. This is perfect. Wow, that, that makes it really easy to get in and out of there. Um, okay, so what we want is the, the beacons here. So I think we'll go to like here, right? Um, I'm going to jump in dark. Uh, no, never mind. I uh, don't want to go there. 
go over here. Yeah, we can jump in here. We'll be fine. And usually when you jump in, it's not a big deal if you're if you they spot you because they actually are pretty slow is what I've experienced. Um, yeah, let's see if we can find them though. They should be around here somewhere. We might actually be able to get them to come to us if we do a sustained burn. Where are you? I thought it said that they were... Let's just do um, active sensor burst. Anything? Nothing. Okay, well, we'll fly around. We'll go to the plants. We'll see what we can find there. Because I am I know that there is um, the beacon right here, right? The Yaman and Astayaya, which I think is, yeah. So they should be around here somewhere. I just need to find their station, wherever it is. I thought I've been here before, which is also the weird thing. Um, because I can't remember where exactly they have their base, but I thought it was maybe around one of these guys. Maybe not, though. Here we go, there's something. Something's pinging on the radar. Is it like a relic, though? What is this? Equipment cache. Okay, well, I think we need the supplies, so if it's got supplies... It does not have supplies. Got some good, uh... Good blueprints, though. It's, like, really not what we need, though. Uh... Do I want to go there? And then maybe we'll go up to here. Yeah, we'll do that. Trust me, there's going to be a giant battle, and there'll probably be a couple of them once we find them. I'm surprised. Maybe they're near those jump gates. Why don't we... I don't think I went to here. So I'm going to go there because I think the jump gates are like kind of like rotating. Yeah, like don't they rotate or do the plants rotate and the jump points stay static? I've, I've forgotten. Uh, here we go. Here. Uh, nice. Okay, that's actually not too bad. I'm going to take off the sustained burn because I suspect there might be others in the area and my cat just jumped in front of my face. Sorry, I don't know if... You heard. Now she's on my chest. So let's go kill these guys with the cat um, on the chest. Uh, what do I want to be in charge of? I do not want to be in charge of that. I want to be in charge of this. If uh, we need someone in charge of that, sure, why not, right? Uh, let's make sure we've got as many of the good ships and... Um, captains as possible as well and then let's maybe get the cruisers in oh we've also upped the size of the battles I don't know if you can kind of see that or not uh, so I need another 14 so I could do like uh, I don't know that's maybe I think there's there's a better way to do this that's now I need what 18 18 there we go that's nice we do have less carriers doing that combo, which is a shame because carriers are pretty nice against them. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna let it go on auto because I actually don't even know why I have loaded on that ship. And we're just gonna kind of watch. We'll see. This is, you know, end game for this. Like, we have more money than we really need. This fleet, we outnumber. The, there are bigger fleets in this area and I'm gonna try and find one as well in this episode. We'll see. It might go over a little bit over half an hour if I do that though. Because we're already at 20 minutes, it looks like. Yeah. yeah. I mean, look at that. We're just wailing on these guys. Trust me, the next battle is not going to be so much in our favor. Like, they're, they'll have fleets that are like... They'll have like four fleets, essentially the strength of my, of my fleet. I actually... Um, I think this is something that I fixed up from my... Uh, my home, um, one of my colonies, and so I think this is actually a really nice Legion class ship. I'm pretty sure. I'm like almost positive. Um, yeah, I want to check that when we're done. But I'm pretty sure that this is like a super fancy ship. 
the, it's also kind of weird because like I'm used to with the small ships feeling like I can see a lot around me. With these big ships, I feel like I can hardly see anything, you know? Like when you're right on it. You have to like be looking up over like that to see any real distance for the distance that your weapons have. Yeah, this uh this big ship right here, we're not really um we're not getting into the fight really. And that ship right there. Uh I'm a little bit concerned. I'll, I'll keep an eye on it. It's combat readiness. Seems to be doing okay. Just being a pest, right? Uh, yeah, lower combat readiness. Maybe I should, um... Yeah, you can retreat, buddy. You served your purpose at distracting these guys. Oh, wait, what? Hold on. What are you doing? You need to fall back, like, right now. Like, you should have been falling back, like, five minutes ago. No, 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 turn, turn, go away. Somebody cover him. No! Okay, you've, you've opened up your flank now perfectly to that little ship. Um, could you please get out of there? Why do I feel like you're not even moving? Yeah, now you're officially not moving. Great job. Great job, guys. Yeah, thank you for trying to kind of cover him. Okay, I think that that ship will get away. We've successfully retreated that ship out of the combat. Awesome. That will really help in the next combat if we don't lose that. Because if you lose a ship, especially these big ships, you lose a lot of crew members. Um, yeah, you don't want like these big ones blowing up too much when you're out here. Deep space robot hunting. Remnant hunting. Um, oh no, my ap apogee. I just like totally didn't even see that. That just like happened really fast, didn't it? That apogee, like, I, I like didn't even see its armor be low or anything. Um, I'm pretty confident that you're gonna be able to kill those things quickly. I kind of want to see that though. Yeah, what are you doing? You're laying down the pain. Yeah, well, we just saw that one go down. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, look at that. That was that was a pretty vicious little assault there. Oh, almost got it. Cool. Okay, um, Heron was... Oh no, I lost the Heron too because I wasn't paying attention. Whatever, those two ships are like... And they're kind of nice ships. They're not my nicest though. Definitely not the biggest either. Cool. Okay, that one's good. Yeah, these, these guys are kind of being a pest. This ship I am concerned about. Like, I'm legit, like... You got a lot of health, so you should be okay. Like, you got pretty low armor there, buddy. Look at that thing's, like, dead. <laughs> but I need somebody, yeah, hitting this too as well. Yeah, oh, man, look at that. I think, yeah, we might lose this ship. The robots might have it. Oh, no. Please don't blow up, please. Okay, it looks like maybe, 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 no, oh man. Okay, that's a lot of people just died there. We'll have to see what our, our fleet composition's looking like. Man, we lost three ships in that. Okay. Well, they lost a lot more than three, so. <laughs> we'll be able to sa sa uh, salvage some as well. I think I just got lazy near the end there and didn't micro. One of the things I should have microed. I also didn't uh, get our fleet out with the um, carriers as much as I have in the past, and that's done very well for like getting these uh, robo guys. And I almost am a little bit embarrassed about losing that big one near the end there. I should, I'll use my command points next time to like fix up things. Yeah, actually, no, we actually got plenty of crew. Yeah. And it looks like we're actually completely okay. So, uh, all recover. Yep. Cool. 
Uh, we'll take everything besides the metal, right? If if you'll let me. Cool. Nice. All right. Well, that's that. Um, we are going to uh, scavenge just a little bit. Yeah, and I've been saying this a little bit in uh, my Mountain Blade series, but man, I really like how this game has like the controls are like a lot of ones and like twos and R's and G's. It's like all things within reach of each other, you know, for like the the menu um, stuff. It's like pretty efficient, actually. Uh, you know what? I think that we're gonna like look. We have a decent amount of fuel that we got there. That's not really what I'm interested in. What I'm interested in is more of the, um, well, actually, no, I do. I am interested in fuel because if we look at our fuel right now, let's look at the uh, sector map and we look at our fuel range. Uh, well, we could actually get back to inha inhabited space. We did get managed to get enough fuel to be okay there. Um, I would like to fight more uh, remnants, if it's possible. Maybe recover our fleet a little bit more. Yeah, maybe we'll just kind of hang out here. We'll, we'll go dark just for a little while, and we'll just wait. And we'll use up supplies, but we won't use up fuel is the thing. And by doing that, I'm just going to speed up. Um, you can kind of see our fleet in its general condition. Actually, it looks like our condition's pretty good. There's a couple of them that are beat up, but in general, it looks all right. So I'm just gonna... Sorry. Game resumed, speeding up time, there we go. So it looks like we're at what? Uh, so the average... Yeah, it's... It should go up a fair amount more, and like the ships that are hurt are like pretty badly hurt. So I would like to just kind of repair those up in space. Like, look, the dark matters is repaired completely now. Trust me, it, this will make the difference if we do actually get into some some combat at the end here. We're gonna want to have a ship that um, has some armor on it. Uh, we'll get a little bit closer to this jump point, and then we'll go, I think, over to the other jump point and see what other... Oh, nope. We've we've got something here. What do we have here? Are they going to come over and say hi? Yes. No. Maybe. Yes. Yeah, they're going to come over and say hi. Um, we can definitely take that fleet. Yeah. Um, oh, they, they saw me. Yeah, they're going to come over. I'm just curious if we look at the fleet, um, how's the armor on the ships? Yeah, maybe I won't bring you into the fight. I mean, that ship was actually super beat up anyways. That's probably a good call. Um, we'll take these guys out and we'll have that be the end of the episode. Um, continue. Get the, get the carriers. We're going to go carrier heavy on this. Just all of the carriers. Um... And then your carrier as well, your carrier, yeah, basically all the carriers. This eagle has also served me really well. Oh, am I not in the legion anymore? That's fine, it's not like my character's even that good at um, that stuff. Like the commanding and whatnot. Um... Did I end up keeping back the thing that blew up? I, I think I did, yeah. Okay, cool. I think that that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty dang good. We'll deploy with that and we'll see how the heavy carrier uh, does, really. I have one deployment point. <laughs> tell you what, guys. Um, can I tell everyone to hang around big boy over here? So that you guys just don't run off so much. Or maybe I could be like, um, I could just tell everyone to defend this point. And then I don't want anyone actually defending you. Just everybody go to this point. 
Oh my gosh, look at all those fighters. They're just swarming that thing. Oh man, that thing is destroyed. <laughs> oh man, that was that was actually pretty awesome. See, this is what we need to avoid, is um, this guy right here. I could put an avoid order on them, but I, what I found is that's not really worth it. And if I just kind of tell people to avoid it, it works out pretty well. Yeah, we, we hit them hard with that first strike with those fighters. That was crazy, man. That was absolutely crazy. Are you... Why are you, like, so far back? You're, like, supposed to be the aggressive dude. How's this doing? Why are you all the way up there? It's making me a little nervous there, buddy. Yeah. You probably want to fall back. Um... I'm gonna maybe tell people to stop defending a point because now we've got the big ship in front. I think we can support it properly. Now my cat's starting to bite pens and pencils on the desk. That's great. Okay, yeah, look, that thing's fluxed out. And we're gonna actually destroy that. Oh my god, look at that thing. Oh wow, that, that went down so quick. That is insane. That's like one of the toughest ships in the game right there. A Radiant. I guess just got cut to pieces. I think it's our fighters, really. They're just so much better against them. I don't know why. I think it has something to do with the uh, the type of weapons, like the lasers. I don't think do as well against the fighters, but don't quote me on that. That's not not a pro star sector piece of advice. That's just you know someone who's gotten to the end game through just like perseverance mostly. Oh man, it was fun though. I enjoyed playing this game again and seeing just the insanity of all these fighters. I mean, the the um, game it looks like is locked at about 60 frames per second, uh, but you know I didn't see a single hiccup doing that battle, which is crazy considering how many assets were in the field. So yes, I would highly recommend the was the Ryzen is it the seven that I have? Yeah, the 37 or 3000. 700x or whatever I think come on take him out chase him down god this <laughs> this last one is taking a while I guess that that's why I get for using such slow heavy ships but I mean you can see the totally difference in success in that fleet composition compared to the last one. It, it said it was the same strength, but it was the type of weapons that we had there. It really gave us the advantage. And hey, look, we got some AI cores. That's like a good chunk of money right there. Uh, no alpha cores, though, which is a shame. Okay, um, I think, though, that's, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you for joining me, you guys. This has been Orange One.